star seed or seven? Seven. My name is Seven. How are you One. doing, Miles? Um, we're doing another um, update from, it's been a while, actually. The last one was, um, was it last year? Yeah, and since then, we have a global emergency and they're force, forcing 5G transmitters on us. Um and we're yeah. also in yeah. a different so I, we're also in a different governmental state. I think it's important to note that uh, quite recently the coat of arms is no longer being used by Ten Downing Street. Uh, and the other thing that's not being used is that President Trump is no longer speaking with the gold braid around the stars and stripes. That is very very important because we're no longer under Admiralty law conditions or or. or Something big has changed. We've gone from one legal status to another one. Are you aware of that? I wasn't aware. Um, I don't know if you're aware that myself and Alfred Weber just um, a couple of days ago, we on the 26th of March, we actually uh, put a call out. Um, we did a, we basically did a tribunal. We looked at all the evidence in regards to this corona virus hoax um, and we basically um, took all the expert witnesses and um, really did a thorough in examination and concluded that uh, this whole thing does not warrant the locking down of countries. There's something much bigger going on and this is what I want to come to. Well, are you aware um, on the government website that they have formally published that this is uh, not a communicable disease. It's not a. There's a whole pile of things they've completely downgraded this. I think as of the 19th of March, and that's still up on the right. government I website. I think it was the 21st of March. Actually, it was on. I believe it was on the 21st of March, and um, it's been on the the government's website. But something they knew all along. This is not a high risk, a contagious disease. So this whole situation of locking the world down is for something completely different. And this is what most people have not been aware of. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, first thing I want to say to everybody who's watching this, we have limited amount of time before we can respond appropriately. Now, I'm going to ask everybody that's watching this, take what I'm saying extremely seriously and I want you to have a look at our it's a natural um, it's a natural and common law tribunal into whether there is legitimacy in this the corporation that's in the UK because it's not a government it succeeded its powers that have been given to them by we the people there is a law called Ultra vira. I want to. I want to show it to you. Ultra vira. You can type that in. Ultra vira. V i r e. Now that deals with powers. Sorry, we, just to be clear, you weren't exactly clear what the first word was. Ultra. 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 L. So yes, U L E R A. Okay. So Via. ultraviolet. This is ultraviolet. Okay. Okay. It's a law which deals with um, powers. When, when, a, when a corporation, because it's not a government, it's a corporation. When a corporation exceeds, goes beyond the powers that is given to it by we the people, there is remedies that you can take in respect of law, okay? So first thing I want to say, I want to share some information with you, but I'm going to come from a completely different standpoint than we've been hearing. What we've been hearing is about the symptom. We haven't been dealing really with the real problem, and we need to, in order to really understand the real problem, we've got to, we've got to diagnose what is really going on here? Okay, so first thing, before I even go into any of this evidence, I'm going to ask you because everybody's life is weighing in the balance. 
on the basis of an absolute fabrication in every sense of the word, okay? There isn't any government that is supporting the people, okay? There are posters being put up everywhere by the organization Extinction Rebellion saying, which states, Corona is the cure and human beings are the virus. I'm going to repeat that. Corona is the cure and human beings are the virus. You need to understand what that means. Well, they are okay? a satanic cult. Now, they are a death cult. So they're certainly okay, pushing that. We're dealing, we're dealing with a death cult, okay, who have usurped the government we are supposed to have. You're taking orders from people who are not legitimate, who have a completely different ideology and agenda. And that is about to come down the pipeline big time. Now, we have very short amount of time to respond. Now, on my phone, it says on the 31st of March, 2020, there are gonna be changes to how we use YouTube. So today is the, actually the 28th. So we're talking a very limited amount of time in order to change what we're seeing happen. And it's coming at big next speed, okay? Now, this is not a situation where we need to be afraid. Everybody's got a fear aside and they've got to start thinking logically and being extremely proactive. More than you've ever been in your entire life you have to be proactive. We're going to have to work. They work as a unit. These people who have these ideologies position themselves very, you know, this has been done in increments. While you've been drinking the Kool-Aid, this is being carried out in increments. While they give you lots of distractions so that you can focus your attention elsewhere. At the moment, you've got all sorts of, oh, there's mass arrests and there's, you know, we're going to give you debt relief. And, you know, all of those videos get hundreds of thousands of views. You need to do that with this video because everybody's life depends on it. And I do not say that life lightly. They are 1%. We are 90%. 99% of the population. We've got all of us talking about a coronavirus situation. Can you still hear me, Miles? Yes, that's fine. Go ahead. Keep going. Okay. All right. We've got all of us preoccupied talking about a coronavirus. Now, coronavirus, if you look in any medical manual, you'll see is nothing more than a common cold. That's it. It's not a threat to humanity at all. It's been used to carry out, to be able to take away rights on a scale unprecedented. Okay? We're talking abuse of power, malfeasance in public office. I mean, there are a multitude of abuses going on here, all right? And they're doing it under the guise that there is this deadly virus out there and you have to acquiesce with us. You have to take up what we're saying, and basically follow orders that are given to bring about your demise. Now, meanwhile, whilst everybody's in quarantine, self-quarantine, because you've all been fooled and played, meanwhile, they have 5G, never, sorry, um, weapon systems being deployed outside children's schools, inside children's schools, outside people's homes, outside hospitals, outside and inside hospitals, businesses, Businesses have been fleeced. They had on, I can't remember how, on what day it was, but about three days ago, they had the biggest day in the stock market they had had in 87 years. Most su successful day 
on the stock market they'd ever had in 27 years. The rest of the world has gone bankrupt. 99% has gone bankrupt without jobs, basically holed up in their homes. Businesses have gone down. 1% have had the best they'd ever had in 87 years. What does that tell you? What well, it should tell, tell us. You? It should tell us that somebody's making a profit out of a disaster, and they normally the people who do that are the powers that be, the um, bankers, the banksters, etc. Right. So, what we're going to we have to. There's a few things that I want to do. My focus is what we're going to do about it. Always, my focus is. Okay, we're going to diagnose the problem. We're going to see what's really going on. And then we're going to discuss how what we're going to do about it and how we can be unified because they're very unified. They're very In everything they do, they are very tight. Are you aware of, event, moves, are you aware of event 201? Yes, that is uh, on the 18th of October. Um, the, the drill to all of this, which was a LARPing event, LARPing being live action role playing. So basically this was a social live experiment. Live action role play. It's just sometimes your the words don't come yes, quickly. Live action role play. Yeah. Are you familiar with that, Miles? Uh, I'm not, but uh, just assume the audience isn't, so it's worth describing. Okay, so LARPing is you know with all false flags there's always a drill and so it's like the kind of uh dress rehearsal before you go live so they plan all this they strategically plan it all out and then they actually call in actors and different people and it's been admitted i can't remember i saw it in one of the tweets that yes they used influencers they call them influencers and basically, on the 18th of October 2019, there was a drill that took place, which was an exercise. It was the simulated pandemic. And basically, this played out, which was called Event 201. And uh, Bilderberg, sorry, yeah, they were all Bilderbergs, but the Bilder um, Bill, Gates. Bill Gates Foundation and a few others. Yeah, yes, yes. Gates and Melinda Gates Foundation. I think they hosted it or they funded it or whatever. That's Melinda Yates I mean, Gates. Yeah. Yes. Melinda and not Melinda. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, so basically, this simulated event went live in March. So basically, we are part of a simulated event. So, basically, so you said March? Yeah, this event here, now? Yes. The, what, we're, what we're seeing unfold is the live event, live experiment, actually. Most of you don't know they're playing with our lives, and they have been for a long time. That's why you have things like Operation Mockingbird, which is a military program. It's been around for about 50 years. And in that, with that program, they always embed whatever they're doing into TV shows. So you'll see shows like The Simpsons. There is a, a show, one particular um, show of The Simpson, uh, Simpsons at the moment, whereby a show create a phony hoax. It's all, it's all in, the, in the Simpson cartoon. They're playing all this. They always show you what they're doing. That's part of Operation Mockingbird. Now, I know that a lot of your audience are much aware of this type of thing but for people that don't part of the, what they actually yeah, it's do always worthwhile explaining shows, it's always worthwhile explaining any concept uh, that maybe for those who don't understand it so go ahead do that each time okay well operation mockingbird is a military program it's been around for about 50 years you can write it you can type it into any you there? It says on my screen that the connection's gone. I'm not sure. If I can still, still see you, me. see and hear you. Okay. 
All right, I'm, I say occasionally I get something written on the screen, so I might just check in with you. Yeah, it oh, might be because I'm not speaking all the time, but continue. Okay, Operation Mockingbird, um, if you type it into any search engine, you will see that it's a military program which has been around for about 50 years, whereby they use entertainment um, and magazines and, and that type of thing to share what they're actually carrying out in real life. So an, an example of, of Operation Mockingbird in effect, as many of you will know, is that you'll see other mainstream media productions, TV shows, that will um, depict the situation that we're actually dealing with. So we have one episode of The Simpsons, and you probably can find it. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I have time to find it now because I want to show you some other things. Um, well, we, we'll but, um, we'll take, we'll take that as read. Just mention it. I'm, I'm sure people can look at that uh, can look at that later. Yeah, so and basically... Just get your that, message across now while yeah. we can. Yeah, so, so just, just to finish that, in that particular episode, is they show you that they're going to create a phony pandemic and they show you vaccinating someone and that person dies immediately after the vaccine. Yeah, that, that happened to be, so, that happened to be um, the head of NBC uh, that they used. They they um, they vaccinated uh, NBC, and NBC is owned by Comcast, and Comcast has just bought Sky News here in the UK. Right, right. So a lot of this is generating from the UK. There's been a lot of people who flagged up that Corona actually means crown. Um, so what I want to bring to the table, um, without going uh, too much further. Um, I, first, I want to say to everybody, I need you to take this seriously and I need you to get this message out. Either you report on it yourself or you get this video viral because we don't have a lot of time. This is about to go live because this is stage one of what is an exercise and it's about to go to stage two. Stage two, stage one is to get everybody into quarantine and lockdown, which has been carried out. Stage two would be to install all the um, 5G weapons onto buildings, etc., which we're seeing. There's reports every single day of people coming forward saying that we've seen uh, uh, 5G towers outside their building or another building whilst they were in quarantine. So the whole reason to be put in quarantine had nothing to do with any virus. You know there's no virus. If you go onto the government's website in the UK, they know there's no deadly virus, okay? Um, and I'll show you that as well. If, if I get time, I'll show you that as well. But you can actually go on to uh, my um, Alfred Weber and I's tribunal. Seven, we'll, we we'll make time. Evidence. We will have the time. We'll make it. We'll have to do what you need to do okay. here now. Do what it takes. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Miles. So... Basically, so stage one was to get you all scared stiff out of your wits that there was a, a deadly virus that's going to kill you all and you're going to catch it from each other. So you've got to run and hide. And you had all these trending hashtags, which they created, you know, all these social distancing. It's all part of social engineering, whereby they've trained people to stay away from each other. So you've got because in order to carry this out, A, they needed you to be out of the way. B, they needed you to give away your rights. You know, you to voluntarily say, look, I'll happily give my life away, uh, my rights away so that you can get this done. They don't know. People don't know. They think, oh, you're going to, you know, get a cure for this deadly virus that's going round everywhere and you know we have to stay away from each other meanwhile we're being played it's an exercise experiment which has gone live it began in october 2018 sorry 2019 on the 18th of october to be precise and it was called event 201 okay um so second stage of that this whole thing was to quickly deploy all the 5G weapons which they're going to be using to do the mass culling. Now, mass culling means 
um, obviously we're talking agenda 21 depopulation. Now in, in the outset of this talk that I gave, I spoke about extinction rebellion. Posters are being put up everywhere because they're now showing you, because it's coming closer to the wire, showing you what's really going on. And what's really going on is that you are the virus. Okay, so basically they've, they're putting up this 5G. Everybody that I've been speaking to has you know, seen a, a 5G tower turn up on their building somewhere. You know, in the, within the time that people have been under this quarantine situation. And the next stage of that will be, I mean, they've opened the Excel Center in the UK, which is a huge, huge uh, stadium. Yes, the Broadcast place, Exhibition Centre. And the, 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 right now, there should be a broadcast video exhibition happening there. And they cancelled last August. Right. Right. Uh, and that, yes, that, that, and there's a huge exhibition centre in East London beside London City Airport. Right. So what they're using that for is going to be for mass graves. Who do you think are going in those graves? Do you think they're trying to make you think all these people are dying of a virus, but there is none? That's why there's two reasons, main reasons. There's probably loads, but just off the top, off the bat here. Two main reasons they needed you in. Oh, we've lost you. We'll, uh, this exhibition center um, can be split into many areas and uh, while hopefully we get Seven back, she's frozen at the moment, um, that's for uh, producing big exhibitions. It can be split up or open completely up. It's a thousand meters long. There's two tube stations between two London Docklands uh, stations between each of them and uh, Seven isn't back yet we'll get back to her hello seven all right okay so um i just pick her up from last time i was telling you about the excel center has been is being used for moultrie and uh, i also talked about two stages um the two basic things. A, they needed you to um, not see that nobody has this virus. And number two, this deadly virus, by the way, people have colds all the time. A coronavirus, if you look in any medical manual, is basically a common cold. It's not a deadly virus. And they've stated that clearly, even on the government's website, which I will show you in a minute. Basically, yeah, I think if we, um, we, we have we've covered that. We've oh, covered so, that basic point uh, about the virus. So let's yeah, just get so on we, with we have websites. something else going on. So let's have a look at what's going on. I want to show you what else is going on. All right. So we have to come out of here. Now, the first thing I want to show you, <clears throat> let's see this. Oh, before we go in there. I mean, OK, so let's look at this. We see that the company Virgin runs the NHS in the UK because we want we need to understand who is doing this okay and what the real agenda is so we know that Branson's company Virgin has is taken over the NHS in the UK probably I mean this is a crime syndicate is worldwide okay and they have they've positioned themselves I've watched them in increments over the years grow to the mammoth proportions that they are now and they're occupying all the positions of power. So we know from this that the NHS has been privatized and it is now controlled by Virgin. Okay, that's very, very important information and I'll show you for why in a minute. So I'm going to go to the next thing. Let me get a second. Let me come out of this because I want to find this thing first. I have to find it and then I'll show it to you. Okay, so I yeah, want to show well, you. well, that's good. Okay, so this is what I want to show you. So where are you? Let me be able to share this screen again. All right. So let me open this up. 
and I'm going to show you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we just got a blank. Oh, there it is. We got it. Okay, we've got the sharp the Farrell report up. Your sound is you've basically frozen. Yep. Okay, you're back. Uh, you hear me now. You're very, very slow. Right, We're using okay. up too much bit right here. Every time I go to show you something. All right, okay. Well, this report here, the Farrell report. This report shows you, if we go down here and we talk about... Now, th this is this is Tony Farrell when he was... Um, I think he's passed on now, hasn't he? And this is, I think, did you... Did you, did you this, Seven, your audio is in unintelligible. Hello, Seven. I've cut my vision to you. Days ago. Can you hear me, Miles? Can you hear me? I can, but the, can you you're me? using too much bandwidth with these extra websites. As soon as you're finished with one of them, cut it, please, because your audio is indistinguishable. But I can hear you now. Okay, great. Okay, now, Tony Farrell, who I spoke to a couple of days ago, um, briefly, um, is very much alive and with us. Good. This is a report he did um, about my situation which goes into the back to what happened with the seven seven bombings in london false flag seven seven bombings now behind my case the cartel of individuals are uh, basically have been engaged in domestic terror at the high end for a very long time and a number now it says, my name is Tony Farrell. I am the former principal intelligence analyst within the police service. This website will provide the opportunity to exposing what must be one of the most monstrous cover-ups in the history of British judicial system. Case material freely on offer here concerns corruption and racketeering within the media, entertainment industry, and circles of the judiciary and police service. Beneficiaries of this decade of racketeering include, this is very important if you can hear me. Can you still hear me, Miles? Yes, just keep speaking, uh, just keep on going. Uh, if, if I, All right, okay, because okay, I didn't know if you're still recording no, just, we're still recording we're always I need you recording to get this yes i know just keep on doing please don't waste time by okay. by doing that just get on with it right. please okay bless right. you okay bless okay. You. okay all right so beneficiaries of this decade of racketeering include bbc itv channel four virgin now remember that because they've gone on from here to take over the nhs with this racketeering money taken over the NHS. Scottish TV, large international law firms such, such as Einmans, with linkages to terrorism and the Leveson inquiry and police media relationship. Okay, so the thing that I'm, I'm, I'm flagging up here is that you're gonna see these same names in relation to NHS behind this Corolla scam going to see these same names come up again. So let me come out here just for a second. And anybody, the main report is here. These are, we sued 10, myself and my cousin who they've murdered, had sued 10 corrupt corporations, all of these named companies involved. 
and we won the biggest case against media and broadcasting and the entertainment industry, members of the judiciary. I mean, it's a, it was a massive, massive mammoth case, all right? Now, what I learned from this particular case is that people that were involved in my case actually are involved in setting up and staging terrorist situations, okay? Now, as this, this was, um, the actual case was in 2006. At the time we did this report, it was 2013. And I have been um, literally domestically terrorized by these people for the last 17 years. I've also been tracking what they've been up to. And some of the linkages is to also Enfield Tower and also uh, Charlie Hebdo, all right? So in, as time has gone on, they've done one false flag after another, and it's been the same people, okay? So what I wanted to show you was to bring you up to speed in terms of uh, showing you, let's see if I can get hold of, all right. Just give me two seconds while I find Yeah, I that's fine. You're reports. doing well. It's okay. Now. All right, so we have this report, which is basically a report which is dealing with the whole corona scam, all right? Now, it shows, I don't know if I can open it all the way at the top. Anyway, this is called Millennium Report. And it was, uh, this was report was released very recently um, on the 24th of March, 2020, okay? Now, they've gone into fact exactly what is really going on here. So we have something called ordinary weapon system activated before each coronavirus cluster explosion. So this COVID-19, we know it's a bioweapon. So they've taken this whole situation of a common flu and they've turned it into a situation in order to weaponize a flu. So we have 5G energy weapons, chemtrail chemical weapons, flu vaccine hybrid weapon, all fully integrated into a quaternary weapon system to depopulate and lock down planet Earth. That's exactly what's going on right now, okay? So most of you, a lot of you already know that. It has nothing to do with there is a killer virus that is a whole load of hogwash. All right, so basically, Okay, we've uh, frozen again, but we'll continue with this very difficult uh, situation here with um, with seven. Uh, we were bumped, yeah, we were bumped off, I'm afraid. Yeah, we were bumped off. And, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Just keep talking. Well, you're, back, you're back on. We're still recording. I've just come out of record temporarily. Let's see if we can get that out of the way. Right. Okay, keep going. Okay. Okay. Okay, keep going. I think basically, Seven, rather than read every web page out, just let's get through these web pages and visually show them because your sound is collapsing. Um, okay, so basically on the 24th of March. And this breaks down exactly what is happening behind the scenes. Now I wanna show you something else because when we look at, this is Millennium Report some time back and they covered something very, very important. They covered this thing called Pizzagate and Pedergate. It said, event, it, this is so big, it will eventually take down the US federal government as Peter will, will also collapse the shadow government. Bring this up because the same woman who was in my case, and I'll 
show you her name on the Farrell report in a minute. This woman here, Helen Alexander, this is the woman who stole my intellectual property. And she has been, been behind. She created herself two particular identities so that people would be deceived about who she is. And I'm going to go back to the Farrell report for a minute so that I can show you exactly that she is the woman that I sued. Now, one of the things that she's involved in, yes, but this is a different one. This is from March 2017. Can you see that's a different date? Okay. Now, these are the women. This is another report. Because I'm showing you. Okay, so this is a this is a, a, a report based on this woman. Let me see if I can get her, her, her name, her face. He, understanding who is behind what we're seeing. We're seeing that the scandal people are waking up and they're behind all of this virus distraction and it's a distraction they are aware that some of the most atrocities that have done to man can cause flag terror to either get come into the surface behind the scenes okay and because in order for them not to face the music what they intend to do is go out guns blazing, basically, and kill everybody. Instead of having to face the music for some of these atrocities that they've committed, they'd rather go out and kill everybody. This is why, because right now, we have court cases and we have who's going involved in Nuremberg scale crimes against humanity. Nuremberg scale crimes. Now, this particular woman here, Helen Alexander, and I'm going to show you, she's the same person in my case. So we've got Virgin, that's one, and now Virgin has taken over the NHS. Very important point, okay? So this particular woman, um, she runs Economist Intelligence Unit. A lot of the dates she's changed on this so that she can't be tracked, but I know exactly who she is. Because she, she basically operates behind the scenes. For a long time she had, I don't know if you can still hear me, but for a long time yes, just she keep had going, two identities. Seven. You're breaking up a lot. It might be okay. continue. Not, Okay, for a long time, this particular woman called Helen Alexander had two identities because I sued her. I sued 10 corporations and I won the largest case in the history of entertainment industry and broadcasting. And she was the key person. Now, a whole scandal, demolition of the Twin Towers, she was also managed, she's managing director of the intelligent unit and the intelligent, and sorry, sorry, the economist intelligence unit and also economist group. Now, I want to bring you to, we've taken a picture off here, but I'm going to show you who she is so that you get a good look at her. This is the woman here same woman she was she used to work at the bbc we, you still haven't changed she moved okay, from the bbc we've now got it, yeah. to scottish media groups and i and okay but this is a this woman is an identity fraud because she started to get exposed that she was involved in crimes against humanity terrorist attack she's been involved in all of it all of it if you look at that millennium report which is dated at the one that I just showed you, which was in 2017, and it shows you that particular um, female people get operative in high places. That's what the article article is 
called it's called sorry i need to fix some water actually but anyway i'll, I'll press on because this is so important i need you to get it I need you to get this and understand what who exactly is doing this okay i need you to understand 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 who exactly is doing this now this particular this crime ring it's a crime syndicate it's the largest crime syndicate in the whole world all right they control governments they control the media they control the courts can you hear me can you hear me um okay i was saying this particular article is called i just get you the it's called female operatives i don't know why you can't see the top of that let me see if i can make it all right there you go this particular article is called Pudicate Women in Operatives in Very High Places. The reason why that is important is because it's been flagged up. Some of the people have been flagged up in this particular article are the very same people that have taken the position to carry out the 5G, and I want to show you that. Now, my, this the whole situation of five, um, 5G being rolled out is being rolled out by a company called EE. It's a telecommunications company. Can you still hear me, Miles? Yes, I can. Just keep talking. Keep going. Okay. Well, in Shoreditch, which is in East London, horrified residents are told that EE is holding the UK's first ever trial of super fast 5G's mobile internet outside their homes. All right. This was on the 13th of March. EE was one of the names that Helen Alexander and her cronies stole from me. So that tells me it's the same crime ring again. So when we look at this whole situation of the deployment of 5G, which is being taken place all over the place, this is the same criminal network. I'm not saying that there are other, because um, this goes mobile is involved, but I wanted to show you that five, EE as a company is actually involved in a lot of the deployment of this 5G situation. So <clears throat> that tells me that there's a much, much, much bigger agenda with this this uh, virus situation. It's all designed to sidetrack you. So I'll show you another thing before I come out of the share screen. I wanna show you something else. Let me come out of it for a minute and I will show you something else. All right, let's see if she sent it to me. I believe she sent it to me. What I want to show you, can you hear me? Yeah, what I want to show you is that the, the UK government are fully aware, or the UK corporation, I should say, because there is no government anymore. They, ha they are fully aware that there isn't a, the, the virus is not something that you can catch. It was sent to me. Right, I'm trying to remember who it was that sent me. Somebody sent me the link of the UK government showing clearly that they know that there is no coronavirus. So if, if there's no deadly coronavirus, if the government know this, why would they be doing what they're doing? That's what you have to ask yourself. I believe I found it. Just see. Okay. This is on the government's website. It says, on the 19th of March, 2020, government declared that COVID-19 no longer class was no longer classed as high consequence infectious disease. They didn't publish it on their website until the 21st of March. So why is UK in lockdown? Can you hear me, Miles? Yes, keep going. Uh, I, I just I'm just letting you it's talk. A question. Yeah, just, just, it's I, a question. I, I, know, I know, but just keep going because it keeps interrupting the uh, the flow. Just keep going. Yeah, but I'm asking you a question. Why did the UK lock 
and if the, the whole country on the basis of COVID-19. Well, they're obviously involved in implementing this attack on the entire population of the planet. Right. That's exactly my point. And so this is a video that I need everybody to see. Copy and you, we need you to send that viral as much as we need you to send this video viral. They know there is no corona virus, deadly virus. It is for another agenda. So we need to turn our attention now to stopping what they are doing because what they're doing is a act of a criminal offence which is genocidal. What they're doing is a crime against humanity of mammoth proportions and that's where this, I stop sharing the screen and I'll come back to you. I think I think the important thing about what, what, what anybody who gets a link or a video do two things. One, save the website to your own computer so you have a copy of what you've looked up on screen. And two, mm -hmm. any YouTube videos you see with this kind of information, literally record them by some means or other onto your computer and make a DVD of it, okay? We've got to yes, go back to DVDs and people actually sending and handing out hard copies of this material. Okay, continue. Yes, so... Um the, the situ situation that we have now is that the case that I had summarized, the, the case that I had in 2006 had won. Very important point, the judge was, well, found dead in that particular case. And between 2006 and the date, we've watched this thing roll out okay now and there's another point i want to share with you sorry there was something else i wanted to share with you so i'll do that quickly uh okay we have this website here let's switch one first okay the first thing is this woman that i showed you that's on the pedo gate her name is helen alexander she was part of my case that i won she went underground and she created two fictitious identities so that she could carry out crimes against humanity. This was published by her company, which is called The Economist Group, before Grenfell Tower happened. This was the world in 2017, and that was on the cover. And it's The Economist magazine. And what this cover did was depict the fact that there was going to be a tower, and I'll show it to you. Now, on the front cover of this, they show you a tower. You can have a look at this yourself. Most of you have seen this, but I'm going to show it to you again because it's very important that you get this. This, uh, this company, which the, this woman, Helen Alexander, as you've seen in the website, if you go back onto that website, Pedo Gate. Women, Peter Gate oper operatives in high places, and it's in the Millennium Report, okay, of 2017, March of 2017. Now, on the front cover of Economist Group was a tower that was sh showing that was going to burn down. It showed that, um, it showed judgment. It was basically a tower reading, tarot card reading, depicting an event which was to take place on Trump's birthday. I wish I could open it. I'm going to see if I can try to open it. These are all videos, but I don't want to open the video. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can just get the website itself, right? Images. If you, yeah, if you go to images. images. Yeah, images are better. So basically, we can make it a little bit bigger. Oops. Okay, you can see that a bit better. This is the front cover of Economist Group. All right, I'll bring it down a little bit. World in 2017. On the front cover, we have a tower here. We have Trump, whose birthday is the 14th of June. It's the same day as the Grenfell Tower went off. Okay. When we look, it says under the tower, it gives you the death card. It shows you that there's going to be a death 
on if you read this properly anybody who understands tarot is predicting something that is to transpire so what this actually this reading was actually showing us was that there was going to be a death on trump's birthday and it would be in a tower okay and that they would be sort of pandemonium basically have a look at uh videos about it because it's pretty key and significant into when we look at what's happening with this corona situation same company that this woman who has been a track record of being involved in terrorism since 9 11 behind the scenes okay so now look let's look at this particular these are the covers current covers so basically we have march which shows that's lockdown okay the economist group let me make it bigger so that you can get my point here because it's very important that you get this all right okay this is the front cover of economist group again it's the same woman all right bear in mind they're also control of the nhs system it says closed means that the whole world is closed that tells you that it's the same people involved on the 14th of march so that was the the 21st of march i should really start this way really let me start here the right medicine for world economy what do we have here that's the corona virus march the 7th 2020 Okay, so we go to March the 14th, 2020, same Economist magazine, politic, politics of pandemics. All right, then we go to the 21st, closed. The whole world is closed. Then we go here, the Economist group, everything is under control. So they are the puppet masters behind the people who are telling us the news. Are you seeing this? And I have to say that um, the very first basis project was all about a population management system called Project Puppet Master. Wow. So that is 20, that's way back in 1994. Project Puppet Master is designed as a population management system. And there it is. And the company in Belfast, Puppet Labs, <laughs> there's another, that's another thing. Okay. So basically, if we look at these, these are all front covers. 27, it says it's going global. What is going global? We're talking about the whole situation, it's about to go live because obviously they did their thing behind the scenes and master stroke, stroke or madness basically we have when we look at i mean an educated person who knows about this particular crime syndicate and knows who's behind it will be able to decipher because they work in code they work in very ritualistic in the way that they do things but they also and have to yeah. tell us they keep telling us They'll make yes. it plain. They'll tell us on like, like, like event 201 that yes. uh, they're do, going to do this. But we acqui if we acquiesce, acquiesce yes. then we are giving them power. The idea yes. is okay. not to acquiesce. Yes. So obviously, sorry, I'm just going into my um, personal email. But again, who runs the national health? These are important, critical questions. It's the same people. If you type in the Farrell report .net and you look at Tony Farrell's opening letter to the world, we have been warning you people about this for a very long time. And they've used all kinds of trickery to cover it up. Now, the difference between them getting away with this successfully and not is down to you. It's down to people reporting it, it's down to big channels getting this information out. It's down to people researching what I'm saying and looking at the links that I'm showing you today and 
in actually recognizing this is the monster that we're really dealing with. There is no pandemic. We're dealing with monsters. We're dealing with monsters and psychopaths. I will show you again on the far on the front cover of the Farrell report. Hopefully, it is it's one of these. I might have shut it actually. So I keep this on the page for a second while I get you the Farrell report. The Farrell report. I closed it by accident. Sorry. Um, so what I want to show you is so that you can actually get to see the people names. These are the people you have to investigate. All right. I'm going to open this <clears throat> and I will open. This is my witness statement. Hopefully it will open quickly and then I'm going to sign off. Let me just show you something else while we're looking at that. Instead of looking at a blank screen, we go back onto here so that you know exactly which magazine covers that you need to look at. You need to look at the economist group. These people are in controlling intelligence agencies. They are, they are the people that are the puppet masters behind the scenes who are engineering all of this, all of this. I actually had the misfortune to come, ac come across these absolutely psychopathic characters. I have to say so. I can call it what it is. These people are absolutely psychopathic. And I had the misfortune Maybe it was part of my destiny to be the person who sounds the alarm. I've been sounding alarm between from seven seven bombings, which they were behind Charlie Hebdo, because I was sounding the alarm. Charlie Hebdo actually means Charlie Seven, believe it or not. Hebdo means seven days, and Charlie means Charlie. So, but um, because they know that I know what's going. On. Yeah, I'm just checking to see whether it is. I just decided to come out of it because it's not particularly great to look at. Um, yeah, I want to show you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's opening. And it's interesting today, I noticed that Richard Branson is, is actually been flagged up on Twitter. Perhaps I can show you that because they've got like... Um, I'm not sure why, whether because there's some people who have been flagging him up since the whole corona, because obviously people are aware that he controls the NHS, right? So people have been outing him left, right and centre. And again, I wanted to try to show you it, but I don't think it... Um, sometimes, you know, they change the rotation of the tweets, the trends of the tweets, but I did see before I started this today, they actually flagged up Richard Branson. But we have, yes, I don't, yeah, I'll take this down. I'm just taking everything down, Miles. Just give me a second. I hopefully I won't take down our show. <laughs> okay, so let me take that down. Right, take that down, keep that up, keep that up, keep that up. Okay, that one can go down, this can go down, this can go down. So I've basically taken down more or less almost everything. All right, what's this? Take that down, take this down, take this down. Okay, let's see if it's, it's almost opened. All right. It's almost opened now. I want to show you this thing called Ultra. It's called Ultra Wires, Vias, actually. Can you see this? Or well, you can't 